Thank you for watching the Fitness Feuds channel. Be sure to like and subscribe. Lord, I thought it was the work of the devil. Now I know I was wrong. Now I know I was wrong. Forty-eight-year-old bodybuilding legend, Dexter Jackson, is one of the most successful athletes to have ever stepped on the IFBB stage, winning more professional titles than any other competitor, including the Arnold Classic, New York Pro, Grand Prix, Mr. Olympia, and Masters Olympia titles. This 220-pound giant killer even dethroned the 260-pound mass monster, Jay Cutler, at the 2008 Mr. Olympia contest. Dexter's conditioning and symmetry are some of the best on the Olympia stage. It's as if he comes on stage perfect every year. No surprises, no drama. That is, until 2018. Dexter lost his symmetry and conditioning in one of his arms. It looked pretty bad, and this got the internet talking about a possible injury, bad shot, or even worse, synth I'll use. <coughs> Dude, they're such frauds, and like, that Dexter shit, dude, with his, like, arm? Bro, that was bad. Did you see the, the, the comment I left? Oh, I saw that, and then he... he so this is what happened, I'm not, dude, you're gonna die. I left the comment, bro. Everyone was leaving comments saying, you fucking, you stint all this stuff. He doesn't reply to anyone, right? But then I write this long thing about how I know it's a bad shot, and then he needs a man up, and I posted the comment because I saw Yeah, I saw, I saw that, yeah. He spawns, he goes... Laughing my fucking ass off. I don't even know what the fuck Sintal is. And no, I, he and then didn't. I, was, well, I go, hey, idiot. I said, I didn't say it. I go, hey, idiot. I didn't say it was Sintal or Nolipal. I said, it looks like a bad water-based Winnie shot that got irritated or test suspension. Dude, he deleted the shit right away. And he fucking, and he blocked me. But he leaves everyone else's comments. I'm like, what the fuck? You don't know what Sintal is. Boston Lloyd went on during the interview to describe Dexter Jackson's calves during the 1999 Mr. Olympia contest. Boston said they were suspect and might have been enhanced with something because of their unusually large size. Although Dexter's arm is probably the result of a bicep tear, which he stated. What about his calves in 1999 then? Were they also the result of an injury? As you can see, high calf insertions usually mean you are destined to have small calves. More recent pics still show a weak calf development.
However, in 1999, Dexter's calves look ridiculously large and unconditioned. And why have these overdeveloped calves shrunk down, even though his quads and hams have stayed large? Dexter is not the only bodybuilder to have been accused of using oils in the past. During the late 1990s, side enhancement oils were the latest and greatest chemical to be used by professional competitors. Even at several hundred dollars a bottle, the demand was much greater than the supply, and even continues to be sold to this day. Some bodybuilders knew how to use it well, and others just seemed to abuse it. say this right now here on the interview I mean really uh, don't go for the shortcuts it's uh, selling yourself uh, your soul to a devil and then it's gonna come and claim it I guarantee you 100% it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when So what do you think? Why did a lot of bodybuilders have bulging body parts in 1999?